In this video, I want to talk about a series of incidents that happened past month with me. Why? Because I want you, my subscribers, to understand what I've been telling you about patterns. Look, before I went to Guatemala for field work, I felt a lot of heaviness on me. I felt as if something was about to go down. Something bad was about to happen. And that was at the beginning of this year. There was this guy on YouTube that made a video against me and several other people. And there was a fellow believer that told me, Rashid, I feel like there's something uh, growing against you, something negative. And it was proven to be right. I did not took the bait because I, I looked at the bigger picture and I realized, mm -mm, I'm not going to respond on this hate video and just keep going. And it stopped. Soon after that, I felt happiness again. And it seemed as if there was hinder in my circumstances. So, eventually, despite delay, I managed to depart to Guatemala at the end of May. I arrived there, things were at ease. Uh, in this, I believe it was the second week when I was in Guatemala, I began to experience a lot of pain in my nerves of my head. Well, the healthcare system in Guatemala is not as efficient, so I wasn't able to go to the hospital. There were public hospitals, but they were not recommended. So I began to pray, decree and declare. I barely could move my mouth. I could barely even move. I had, I had weird sensations in my body, painful sensations. Then suddenly it, it was all gone. So I continued. Then in Guatemala, before I went to Nicaragua for five days as an holiday, I had intense diarrhea out of the blue and I was thinking how is this possible if it's the local food that caused it why didn't it cost me the mo what did it cost it in my body the moment I arrived so when I returned to the Netherlands and I checked my mail I'm not talking about my email but my fiscal mail I saw that there was this debt collector that threatened and when I checked the date that the post, I mean, the fiscal mail was sent, it corresponded with the time. I felt this intense sensation, this painful sensation in my nerve system. And I was thinking, ah, now I get it. So things moved on. In September, I began to feel this weird sensation again. I even went to the dentist to check what was going on. Very weird. Now the sensation is completely gone. Even though I didn't even remove one of my teeth that was hurting. The pain is just gone completely. And now that that physical uh, pain is gone, suddenly I began to receive weird phone calls, even anonymous calls. And this brings me back to the end of 2018 and the beginning of this year, 2019, where I also received weird phone calls. There was this particular number that called me, and any time I picked up the phone, it would hang up. And when I tried to call back, uh, the 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 line would say that the, the phone number is is not in use. So I was thinking, if this number is not in use, how can it be? It's calling me. And after I pick up, it either hangs up, or I don't hear anything at outside of the line. I reported this to the police, but the police said probably it's just some call center uh, software that's calling you. So I left it at that. But now you had those phone numbers calling me 
outside of working hours. Now, if it's a company or an institution, they have to call you within the working hours. That's between 8 and 5.30. They can't call you around 7.30 and later. So I didn't respond to them. Now I received a letter from some bailiff. Well, it's a, not really a bailiff, but it's a, it's a bailiff office, really. That tells me that I have a debt with the local municipality where I live concerning taxes. And they're about to send a taxation officer to see if they can take some stuff from me. And I was thinking, so I sent an email. Because I don't work with talking on the phone. I sent an email. And I've mentioned to them, hold on a minute. The taxes that I I'm supposed to pay, I'm supposed to pay them at the end of October. It's not even the end of October yet. So I'm not, e even if I'm late, I still get reminders that I need to pay something by law. How can it be that we are in the half of October? And now already, some debt collector is charging me to pay something I didn't pay while the date of paying the original thing hasn't even arrived yet. So I asked for documentation, and here it comes. I also asked them, why don't you have a crown in your logo? Because the Netherlands is a kingdom, it's a constitutional kingdom, so all bailiffs and debt collectors should be appointed by the crown. And I also asked this debt collector for, I asked for more, how would I say? I, I, I called them to account. And I also made plain to them that the blood of the lamp is, a point, is uh, applied to my life. And that anyone who enters my life in an unworthy manner or with negative intentions, that they will face the vengeance of my Lord and Savior. And I also made plain that I do not take their black magic, Freemasonry, and extortion. I was very plain in this email. I'm still awaiting what they're saying. Now, why did I share these incidents with you? Normally, I don't do such stuff. Why am I doing it now? Because I want you, believers, to understand that the enemy works in patterns and cycles. If you've been listening to this video till now, you'll notice a pattern. Anytime I'm about to do something new or to expand in life, there is some type of threat or some type of intimidation coming. It's predictable. Now, commoners would look at situations and say, or oh, those are just incidents. They don't see the bigger picture. They don't see how things connect to one another. And that shows you that as a believer, you should never, under any circumstance, take things for granted. Things don't just happen. No, they don't. And these incidents of past year, well, actually from the end of 2018 till now, similar things happened before. Yes, in 2016, 2016, those two years, anytime, anywhere, a discussive conflict was arising against me. And I even had people, well, I uh, me, uh, people, those are trolls, keep telling me, close down your YouTube channel. And I was thinking, how is it possible that I encounter conflict almost everywhere I go? And then, then you have people begging me in the comment section to close down my YouTube channel. I didn't. I kept going. Suddenly, all the harassment stopped. And slowly, but surely, in 2018, late in the year, the harassment became. Uh, be the harassment started over again. But now, 
it's different circumstances, but it's the same harassment. Remember the video I made yesterday about Superman? How you should learn from Superman? Superman conceals himself from those who are not worthy to know who he really is. Superman, because he's able to conceal himself so effectively, he is also quite alert. Because he conceals himself successfully, which makes him quite alert, he's also effective in taking actions. And because he's so fast in taking actions, it appears as if he's late, but he was there all along. Think about the Superman movies. You see a bad guy doing something, and then later the bad guy looks around and Superman is there. So you may ask, when did Superman arrive? Superman didn't shout, I'm coming, I'm coming. No, Superman just arrived. Before the crime happened. Before the crime began. So when the crime was going on, the perpetrators weren't even aware Superman was there. Until Superman revealed that he was there. That's how believers ought to be. That is how we ought to be believers. Because these harassments will not stop until Christ returns. Now you may not experience the harassment in, in the same way I'm experiencing it. With you, they may use other methods. Nevertheless, it's harassment. Anytime you are walking by faith, anytime you're expanding, anytime you're reaching something of significance, the enemy, as well as those warlock cabinets who are extensions of the shadow government, they will target you. And there are times commoners who are not part of any cult, just plain commoners will turn on you. For the main, for, what I'm saying, for the mere fact that you are walking in power. Now, I already decreed and declared repercussions on whatever is behind the scenes. Harassing me. Just know that these things happen. And there's another thing. When your radar goes off. It can be that you're walking in a park. It's a sunny day. You're smiling and suddenly you feel. As if something is about to go down. Something negative. And you look around you. There's nothing bad around there. Your inner radar picked up. Some negative action against you somewhere on the earth. It can be close, within a few kilometers, or it can be a hundred kilometers away. Your inner radar picked it up. You don't know what it is. But the moment your inner radar goes off that something bad is about to go down, know that your radar is ahead of time. Know that something is indeed about to go down. That's why you need to anticipate it so that when it begins to unfold, just like Superman, you, you already took action against it. So when it's unfolding, the unfoldment will be useless. Because past the days, when I was receiving those weird phone calls, I sensed some, that someone tried to choke me. But there was nobody physically choking me. Listen, believers. These things will happen until Christ returns. And you will have reprobate humans and cowardly. And I'm saying you will have reprobate humans and enablers that will enable danger against you. It will happen. So anticipate it. Don't get stuck in a routine. That's what a lot of believers do wrong. Once things are at ease, they become attached to it and they become ineffective. Just because you have easy circumstances now, doesn't mean that no violence will come again. Look, if you overcome an attack against your life, you overcome it. So of course circumstances will be easier afterwards. Just realize that Satan's next move will come sooner or later. So never get used to easy circumstances. Because too many people, including believers, get used to easy circumstances. And then, 
when they are so in that ease and they're not aware anymore, suddenly, out of the blue, there's an attack. They may feel in their, in their inner radar that something is off, but because they're so attached to the ease, they brush it off. Never brush off warning signals that you feel in your inner radar. Never. That's why always be flexible, mobile, and be diligent. It's written in the New Testament that the devil goes around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Christ said, I stand you as sheep amongst wolves. Therefore be wise as serpents and yet innocent as doves. Christ also told us that he has given us power to, to turn upon scorpions and serpents and the whole camp of the enemy and nothing shall by no means harm us. That means we ought to walk in the power. That also implies that we need to reflect on our circumstances and our situations to see patterns. Once you see a pattern, you are not crazy. That pattern is there. Now you can overrule that pattern. Now you can step out of the pattern because the paranormal uses patterns to trap you, to lure you into a cycle. Don't fall for it. That's how evil spirits hover you. That's it for now. Keep a primate Christ and be at peace.